thank you, obviously, for joining us. Um, yeah, of course. Why, uh, why don't you start off, just tell us uh, who you are. Yeah, of course. So <laughs> my name's Connor Gilvin. I am the CMO and co-founder of freeup.com. And um, I've been selling on Amazon since 2009. Started selling for my college dorm room, got into the whole world of Amazon, sold over $25 million worth of product, did a lot of drop shipping with thousands of suppliers around the United States. And then after hiring a lot of people from places like Upwork and Fiverr.com, me and my business partner, Nathan Hirsch, who's the CEO of FreeUp, we started this business to, to try to make it simpler for Amazon sellers, e-commerce businesses, and now we work with a, a large variety of companies. Okay. I didn't know you were a seller. That changes a lot of stuff in this conversation, but that's fine. Oh, we'll yeah. get there. So uh, FreeUp. Why, what differentiates you from like the, the Fiverr mm. and the Upwork and I forgot what the other one's called. Yeah, like Freelancer, uh, there's a ton of freelancer. them. Freelancer, yeah. there's another, there another one, but I think Upwork bought them. But anyway. Oh yeah, Odesk, Elance, those ones. Elance, that was the one yeah. I was thinking. Oh, and Odesk, forgot about them. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what's, what's the big differentiator? Yeah, sure. So, so we're, we use those sites and one of the biggest frustrations we had was the amount of time we spent posting jobs and then interviewing, you know, 10 to 15 applicants every time. Mm -hmm. And what we found was we just, we ran into a lot of turnover, right? So we were spending too much time. We ran into turnover. We, we were finding some good people, but it took us a lot of time to get there. And so the, the main way that we're different is we actually have an internal team that interviews and vets all the freelancers that want to get into the free up network. And then we only allow the top 1% of applicants into the network. So as a business owner, you're gaining access to a, a much more vetted and uh, exclusive group of freelancers mm -hmm. that are going to have a higher chance of working out in your business rather than the other sites where it's, it's really up to you to try to figure out who is the best and, and how it's going to all work out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so... For those of you who uh, who joined us, who are obviously, and Connor, I told you this, we put this on YouTube later and all that stuff. So for anyone who's watching this, obviously, we've done work with, with ReUp in, in more ways than one. Um, sure. And every time we get the question, like, on, on you know, what is ReUp, what's the difference between, like, ReUp and Upwork or anything like that, yeah. I really think it's just easier to call you guys recruiters. Like, you guys really yeah. are, like, freelance recruiters. It's awesome that I don't have to spend like two or three hours digging through yep. profiles and searching for people like with Upwork, the size of it now, you can't, you can't really like post something and then get a ton of applications unless it's like something wildly enticing. So you have sure. to go and search for people and it's a nightmare. And luckily with you guys, I post something and then you guys send me like one person and nine times out of 10, I'm like, perfect. This guy's great. Love him. Let's do it. Like it, it knocks yeah. out a lot of the, the process. So that, that is awesome. Um, nice. So you're in Connecticut, right? Uh, I actually live in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. Why did I think you're uh, in, you went to school in Connecticut? Went to school in Connecticut. Yeah. I do like a whole, like, let's stalk the guy beforehand. So I know right, what I'm right. talking about and I was wrong. Uh, so Nate is in Florida, correct? Nate's in Orlando. Yep. I lived okay. there for about five years. We moved down there together after college. And that was when we were running our Amazon business. And then just about a year ago, I moved out here to Denver, just mainly a lifestyle change. Yeah. Okay. So do you guys cater primarily to Amazon sellers? Um, I would say a large majority of our clients are selling on Amazon or in some way or another, for sure. And that's how we started, too. The first two years of business, we're in our third year of business now. The first one to two years was mainly all Amazon sellers. Mm-hmm. And now you're now you're not even just all e-commerce, correct? You're you guys do a little bit outside of e-commerce, but you really just cater to the e-commerce world, right? Yeah, exactly. So our, our core competency is still in the e-commerce world. That's where a lot mm -hmm. of our freelancers have past experience and skill sets. Mm -hmm. But we do have freelancers that are great at digital marketing or advertising or web development, web design, things along those lines that can apply to other types of businesses as well. Nice. So this past this past week, um, I was at IRCE. We we co-hosted nice. uh, an event Tuesday night, Rise Twenty Five, and I see yep. Free Up is doing the same thing, and I'm like, oh, nice. I was like, Nate's gonna be there. I can finally meet Connor. 
<laughs> and uh, I messaged Nate, and I was like, "Hey, I was like, where are you?" He's like, oh, I'm, not, "I'm not coming." Like, you're sponsoring from a we distance, <laughs> right? Right. Like, what is that? But uh, we missed you guys. Uh, IRCE was interesting. I know you guys do a lot of conferences uh, mm-hmm. over the years. So why'd you guys miss? It? Why'd you decide to miss out on on IRCE? Yeah, I mean, it was it's definitely one we got to go to next year. Just with our schedules, it didn't work out mm-hmm. for us to go this year. Um, Nate had been coming off a, a few conferences in the past couple weeks, um, and then mm-hmm. I had a, a few things going on. So we just weren't able to make it, but we're, we're good friends with Rise and, and Jeremy, um, who runs that whole organization. So we were glad mm-hmm. to be able to sponsor it, even though we weren't there. Yeah, it was, it was a good event. That was definitely a good event. But um, nice. it was, it's really interesting to me how these conferences, because I've, I've been to uh, obviously plenty, but IRC, IRC, this was my first time. I was nice. shocked at how large it was, and yet mm. how I, I feel like I got like nothing out of that. Like That's I sat really... in, the, I sat mm. in the classes. The classes were horrendous. Of interesting. Uh, I, in fact, I sat in one. I'm not even kidding. It was uh, your CMO, so you'd appreciate this. It was a social media like advertising uh, okay. thing. So I was sitting in it. They're only 30 minute classes. 20 minutes of this class was them talking about the house that they started their business in originally. <laughs> Easily 10 to 15 slides of like pictures of their house. No so value. No value. None whatsoever. It was amazing. Weird. But, you think at a conference that big with that much money behind it, they'd be having good content being put out. You'd think, but it was yeah. it was wildly high level, like so yeah. high level of just yeah, you should consider having an abandoned card email, and it's just like <laughs> yeah, you probably should. <laughs> Pretty yeah, common how sense. Do I do, but, how do I do that? Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, all right. So we'll we'll stay on topic. So you were a seller. Yep. Uh, you and Nate were partners there as well. Yep. Yeah. We Pretty started cool. that. Yeah. Started. Are you that still business. a seller? Uh, we are not. So we stopped about a year ago because FreeUp was just picking up so much pace, and oh, yeah. we decided to put our time behind that. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. I th- so I started here, and I recently went through like, a, oh, I had an idea for what I wanted to do if I was going to do selling, and I was just like, ah, I can't take that on right now. <laughs> so like our CEO is, we have a couple yeah. other employees that are, so we still have sellers in house, but yep. I just, it's such a workload. It's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a lot to manage. It's it's tough to run two businesses at the same time, um, and yeah. selling requires a lot of attention to detail of what's going on every single day. So when you were selling, what mm-hmm. didn't you outsource? Anything? What didn't we outsource? So yeah, so with our first business, we we actually had an in-house team. So mm-hmm. all of our most of our customer service was done in-house. We, we just, that was a really big focus of ours, so we decided to keep it in-house. Um, and then we also had some other people that did, did some of our inventory and also our sales, like reaching out and getting new suppliers that we could work with. Um, but what, what, what eventually happened, it evolved over the four or five years that we were doing the business, was we had our leaders in-house. So we'd have like an inventory manager, we'd have a, a, you know, a sales manager, we'd have a customer service manager. And then we did end up outsourcing other positions under those guys, and they were just the mm-hmm. leaders for them eventually then. Yeah. Okay. So how many, how many freelancers are you guys at now? Do you know? Yeah. We're, we just got over 1,000, uh, I think, within the past month or so. So, yeah, so go. we've got about 1,000 pre-vetted freelancers. In I would say, now. and you said you're vetting to pretty much the top 1%, so you guys have probably spoken to a- thousands. Yeah, yeah, some ridiculous number. <laughs> yeah, I think um, uh, I think right now we get around a thousand applicants every week, and mm-hmm. then out of that we let in yeah about ten people each week. Yeah. And do you cater to really? Do you really have a specialty of any aspect of like you guys really have a lot of good, you know, inventory mm-hmm. managers or a lot of good writers? Are there any categories yeah. there or, or departments that you guys cater to? Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, Amazon's definitely our biggest one. We have just Mm -hmm. a ton of freelancers that have experience in handling all aspects of Amazon. And then we have a really good selection of people that know uh, Facebook ads, Google ads really, really well. Um, And those are popular for, you know, e-commerce and then outside businesses as well. Uh, And then a, a large group of just kind of basic virtual assistants that can help you with a lot of smaller tasks within your business get them off your plate, you can focus on other things. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we get, you know, because obviously we're an agency, so we really are like outsourcing pretty much. Um, sure. But it is it is very interesting how many sellers we get now where they're like, mm-hmm. I want to be a 10, 20, 30 million dollar seller and I want to have mm-hmm. like three people in my office or I want to work from home. And it is right. amazing, like with, with the freelancing, like you really can do that. That's not that hard. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I know, I think it was, it was earlier this year, I did the, the webinar with, with Nate. Um, yeah. And he had, he had a section of that webinar that was really interesting to me. It was the whole aspect of having, not, having a freelancer, but not treating them like a freelancer. Treat them like an employee. Right. Let them get involved in the conversation. Let them get, yep. make higher level decisions. Let them like, start to give their input. Treat them you know, like, you know, just like you would an employee that's in house. And yep. you just you suffer from significantly less turnover. They tend oh, yeah. to do a much better job, and it, it's just you really start to see like a difference in it. Like we have, you know, obviously we outsource a few things for ourselves, mm-hmm. um, and it is amazing how you know if you really keep them involved and and keep them like, hey, we hit this goal, and everyone was you know yep. uh, a part of that. Like it is amazing how you really keep them in, uh, yep. and that was definitely a good section of, the, of that webinar. Yeah, I mean that's that, that's huge. We we have weekly meetings every Monday. I, I hold the weekly meetings with all the freelancers I personally work directly with, mm-hmm. and it's it's super helpful. I mean, if you think about it, any any professional, any freelancer, or any employee, that's that's what they love about working with a business is you know they see how the company's growing, they see how they're contributing directly to that. If you just try to put a a person into a you know go do this task, and I'm not going to tell you anything about the business they're going to eventually become disinterested and, and maybe look for other opportunities. So yeah. it is a big part creating that company culture, even when you're working with people all around the world and maybe you only communicate with them through Skype or some video chats here and there. Mm-hmm. So yeah. uh, anything on the horizon, like anything new you guys are coming out with, any software tweaks or, or what's what's going on there, platform? Yeah, for sure. So. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're always making software upgrades, uh, kind of listening to our clients, listening to freelancers. A big one that's going to be coming out in the next month or so is once you're into the software as a client, right now you'll, as you know, you'll request a freelancer and you'll get introduced to one person through email. And then you can set up a conversation with them, have a meeting, whatever it may be. And we're going to be releasing in the next month freelancer profiles. So as you're introduced to the freelancer, you also get access to their profile, which gives a, a, a larger breakdown of their past experience, past projects they've done. You know, if they're a designer, it's going to show all of their, uh, their designs and the work that they've done recently. And then things about their education and contact information as well. So we've gotten feedback that clients would really like that. So that's going to be coming out here in the next month or yeah. so. Nice. That's perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Connor, I don't want to take up any more of your Friday. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thanks. Uh, thanks for joining yeah. me. Do you mind uh, giving us closing remarks? Let us know where everyone can find free up and all that, all that good stuff. Yeah, of course. So if anyone's interested in learning more about outsourcing for their Amazon business or for any business in general, head over to freeup.com. And that is with three E's, so F-R-E-E-E up.com. And, you know, if anyone has any specific questions, feel free to shoot me a message or maybe I'll drop my email in here, too. So if anyone wants to reach out, they can do that very easily. Perfect. Connor, thank you, buddy. Enjoy your weekend. And I'm sure we'll talk soon. Have a good one. Awesome. Thanks, man. Take it easy. You too. Bye.